Hi everyone, thanks for being here for another orchid video. Today we will talk about my large vendors. They are out here in my patio, hanging from the branches of this peach tree. They are doing well, they have been blooming according to schedule. These two bloom profusely at least twice a year. That is the advantage of some hybrids. They have been bred to bloom more than once a year. The reason why I brought them out here today is to make an update on something I have been experimenting, in particular with this one. I need to explain that two years ago, this one grew uh, these roots upwards all in one season. They are thick and fleshy, but they grew upwards, which makes it difficult to hydrate. So last year, I decided to bend them down into the base of the orchid, arching over which was easily done because these roots, when wet, they are very pliable. However, they did not uh, like to be contradicted. <laughs> and as a consequence, they stopped growing and branching. Last winter, I decided to bring them back upwards, but um, they did nothing to show their satisfaction. They are still hydrating, but not really growing. I thought it could be lack of hydration, so I decided to place some moss around the roots like you see here. I water these little cushions of moss once a day. However, the root tips never greened up again and no new branching, at least not yet. Maybe they still will. Very disappointing though. However, something else worked just fine. Also last year, this plant lost several lower leaves on the stem. This happens quite frequently with some vandas. It's their way of showing their unsatisfaction for any number of reasons, very often due to cold during winter. Whatever it was, the leaves won't grow back and um, it makes me so sad to look at the bare stem. So I thought how nice it would be if I could convince this vanda to grow roots right here and um, therefore create a new root system from, from here. This way one day I could cut the stem right below the new roots if I want to and get a renewed vanda. Is this said more difficult to achieve? Until one day, I got an inspiration from a Brazilian channel specialized in vandas. And this is what they recommend, placing a little cushion of moss around the stem, like I did with the, the roots gr gr growing upwards. Which I did, and um, look here, isn't this awesome? I'm so happy with this beautiful root growing right here where I wanted it to. Hopefully more will follow suit. Presently I have no reason to think this orchid is unhappy. On the contrary, because she's willingly blooming. Furthermore, this orchid is giving me two spikes this time around. I've had it for three years and um, it always blooms for me twice a year, however, with only one spike. It has two spikes this year for the first time, which pleases me so very much. This uh, pink one also blooms twice a year, but it never gave me more than one spike each time it blooms. It is interesting to notice that these uh, usually bloom at the same time, the uh, purple and the pink. Both of these vandas grew entire new root systems under my care. Same as this other one. The new roots are amazingly thicker and fleshier than the ones they came with. It may have to do with the change of setup as they came with bare roots and then I placed them in these baskets. Recently, I added some uh, pieces of fern root and um, meshes of cocoa fiber for better hydration. Although I soak them on a daily basis, especially this time of the year. This is the only one I have kept with uh, hanging roots. I've never attempted to place them in a basket because these roots are wonderful as they are. This is my favorite of all four 
because of its compact growth and the four branching stems around the main plant. I'm not willing to separate them from the mother plant. I like them the way they are. I got this vanda for my birthday in January of 2020. It was in bloom then. It has bloomed beautifully with yellow blooms since then, every late winter. It would be wonderful if one day I get cakes um, and mommy to bloom at the same time. This uh, was the most expensive of all four and uh, is the one not performing as well. It is a late uh, winter bloomer. It always throws a spike. It even started two spikes last time, but blooms always aboard. I believe that is because uh, she does uh, not uh, feel ready yet, not uh, strong yet. In fact, it discarded all root systems soon after I got it in the 2020, and she has been um, directing energies to growing roots. I hope she finally bloom next uh, late winter or spring. So this is all for today from me and my large vandas. Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care and have a great day.